Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Did you know, I know you probably have already heard that the new Pope has been elected. Okay, the smoke is coming. They're calling him Pope Francis, but did you know, it was really not a joke that the first Pope, they were talking about, what was it, Barack Hussein Francis? What? Francis Barack Francis Hussein Barack the First. Francis Barack Hussein the First. Yep. What? It's a Pope? But because After as they said last night, that there, uh, there's only been one other more perfect man ever born than Barack Obama. Ah, interesting. So when was the last time you heard a president they were talking about naming a pope after? Never. Mm, never. It's not done. No, they weren't talking about naming the pope after him. They were talking about but serious, him. about him being the pope. Usually they have to be Catholic before they be considered. Well, I know, but they were going to break the rules. They said what, what screwed it was the fact that he believes in gay rights and abortions and that basically took him out of the out of Oh, consideration. otherwise they would our, have our named him Pope. They could have been Pope. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, for now we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because they said the president of the United States has the Republicans running now. He said that they're so scared of him that they're <laughs> cheering his every every word now. And that they give applause that the Democrats have never given him when he came in to talk to the Republicans yesterday. Of course, that was right after the Republicans had found out that he had basically tried to cut the throats of everyone in the room. They're, they're hauling out the pushing granny over the thing again. They've reopened Stop Grammy from Granny from being killed by Republicans.com. Oh, yeah, no. So, yeah, which, which means, you know, the Republicans basically didn't think much of him yesterday. And the president was only briefly considered for the position as pope. Hey, folks, we're talking serious. They actually, uh, the American press thought, you know, that he should have been named the pope. And they said, you know, the, here's the reason why he didn't get consideration. is because of his stance on gay rights <laughs> and on... Um, abortions. Other than that, there's a good possibility he would have been Pope yesterday. Can you believe that? Actually, that's a good one to put out. Did you know that President Obama was actually considered as Pope? Yeah, and he's, even, he's not Catholic, and it would have been the first time since the... He mass. wasn't campaigning either. No, oh yeah, he was campaigning. He oh, he was? on the fact he was campaigning. He, did, he campaigned to get... He didn't campaign to get the Nobel Peace Prize, which he shouldn't have had because he wasn't President of the United States during that time period. And, um, and, you know, but uh, they, they know he was campaigning because he'd have liked to have been able to stick that down the Republicans or up their backside saying, you don't think that I, I you know, I believe in, you know, Christian values and stuff. I I'm would just name Pope. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and Samsung Galaxy S4 revealed on video ahead of debut. Oh, well, you know, we've got an invite. To oh, we want to go look at it. Yeah, we have a, I, we've got an invite to the debut of it. This afternoon, and it's already the all the material that's going to be shown is already being shown everywhere, and basically they said it's a killer for the iPhone. Is what mm -hmm. it does. They said because it's it's cheaper, it has a better camera, and they said it's just cheaper. Mm -hmm. And the UFC now supports gay rights a lot more than the NFL. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Here's the problem: is that the Attorney General of the State of New York is wanting uh, basically. He's going after the NFL for uh, for violation of transgender rights. Mm -hmm. That they're not they 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 don't have transgender 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 players on all the teams in the NFL. So any team that comes into New York City could be possibly brought up on civil rights charges. Under okay, the Democrats passed a thing about the Defense of Women's Act, which had nothing to do with women, but had to protect mm -hmm. gay rights and transgender rights. Mm -hmm. And now you've got the Democratic, wherever there's a Democratic uh, administration, you're going to see them trying to push their agenda down sports events now. They said baseball is next. So followed by basketball and any other professional sport because they would rather not have the sport and the money coming in than not go to their constituency, which basically they said maybe six, seven million people told in the world. Mm -hmm. And the USC now supports gay rights a lot more than the NFL. Yeah. What? That's that's yeah that old people try to give it. That's the boxer, the you know the martial arts thing, folks. So uh, I I have my doubts that they support gay rights over there either. I know. And South Korea and U.S. begin drills as North Korea threatens war. Yeah. You know, I thought they are, they already threatened war. No, no, but it's getting worse with every day because there's a million so Okay, they figured that 
that if um, if the North Koreans attack, they'll sweep over the American and South Korean forces in maybe 20 to 30 minutes and be in um, be in Seoul in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. We can't stop it. And Obama basically figure, okay, here, here's the same people that basically said that we can't, you know, what Ron Paul did was grandstanding or also saying, we need to pull the troops out of North, out of South Korea because we can't stop happening what happens and we don't want our troops to be hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why the soldiers are sitting there, is at least to try to stop them, folks. And study, even ancient mummies had clogged arteries. <laughs> I would think so. Uh, that's why they live to be about, you know, if you live to be, okay, Caesar had already lived beyond a normal age for a person in those, in those part of the universe. Okay, here's the trick is, they're saying that we have, pro we have, we have an epidemic of people dying of obesity, yeah, when they're 60s. They use, people used to die in their 30s. We have an epidemic of people dying from smoking in their 60s and 70s. They used to die in their 30s. We have an epidemic of people dying from sugar. They used to die in their 30s, folks. Life expectancy is doubled. You double the life expectancy, you automatically increase the cost of society for mm -hmm. the people living longer, whether they're healthy or not. It doesn't make any difference. Obama meets with new advocacy group. Yep, they said the advocacy group that um, he said is he's not charging five hundred thousand dollars a piece to meet with. So we said instead of meeting with the White House because he got a problem with the with the press with the, the press on it, he he met him around the corner at a hotel. Mm -hmm. And they said I love. They said one of the Republican people said that he thought it was funny because they didn't realize that I wasn't a supporter for the president. I walked into the meeting. And you would not believe what they were talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, he said that will come up as soon as he, you know, handles the problem with their threats of litigation against a member of the press. And North Korea says it cancels 1953 armistice. Yeah, they're getting very serious because when you give uh, you give a madman a nuclear weapon, he then sets the rules because he has a nuclear weapon. He has missiles that God knows where they're going to land. They could land. All they got to do is to point them towards us, and they're going to hit somewhere in us. And because the, the neat thing about missiles is, if you point it north, it's going to go north. That's the way you shoot an arrow into the air, you know not know where it will fall. But it was always going to fall in the direction you shot it, not behind you, which is China. And what are the chances of an American pope? This time, not zero. That's right, Pope um, Barack Obama. And Jerusalem Arab residents contest highway route. Well, yeah, because, the, okay, um, the, I was watching a thing this morning I was in on television years ago where they're talking about the shortest point between two dis two, between the shortest way between two points is a straight line. When you undo the straight line, it costs you more money and you only have so much money to build roads anymore. So they'll go to where it's the cost the less, whether the people like it or not. They can't have civilization without inconvenience. Jerusalem Arab residents can test highway route. Yeah, that's, that's like that was said that twice. Oh, that's true. White House concerned with North Korean threats. Not much. <laughs> okay, the, okay, the White House has never been, okay, well, okay, here's the trick is, the most dangerous person in the world is the person you contend you laugh at, and they do nothing but laugh at the North Koreans, which made them very dangerous. Mm. And Illinois is accused of fraud by the SEC. Yeah, and guess who was in the Senate on the committee that helped to push that stuff along? Mm -hmm. But don't worry, he told the Republicans this was a bipartisan problem. No, the Democrats have been in charge in Illinois since hell froze over, folks. You know, so it's, the, the Republicans have had no say in anything forever. So you're talking about spending on hiding money from pen, uh, pension funds, liabilities, handling this and that. There are tens of billions they've hit from the from the bond market, now somebody's gonna go to jail in Illinois again. And video of blind little boy taking his first step down a curb inspires the web. I know, the web won't, we won't see that much longer under the Obama administration because Obama, Democrats do not believe in freedom of speech as they're finding out this morning. 120 some pages explaining what you cannot do on the uh, social media anymore. Oh, they which do? basically prevents advertising on, it prevents the means of making money for Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, and Lincoln. Because you don't, they're only voluntary rules. Unless you choose not to follow them, then they can prosecute you. And Indians join Harlem Shake craze with video. Oh, that's the what in the world is this Harlem Shake? I have no idea. 
Okay, well, basically, the uh, the Democrats don't like it because it's a Harlem slave. What? There were what? no slaves ever in Harlem. What is a Harlem shake craze? I don't even know what it is. It's, it's, it's basically, it's, it's black, you know, like uh, making fun of black people dancing. You know, like Beyonce, but can't, okay, what they do is they shake their big rear ends and don't dance like they used. My God, I'm talking some of the greatest dancers in the world used to be Afro-American. Today, all they do is shake their butt and call it dancing. And House aid on Obama, he, he's using us as props. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's his staff. Oh, it is? The, the staff have blew the whistle on him, and they're unhappy that they're supposed, they said the man comes in, and they think he's going to spend a half hour throwing up all over the White House because he hates the Republicans so much. But don't worry, they were talking yesterday, Nancy Pelosi, this is the most bipartisan president in our nation's history. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, it's amazing how many people come out of the woodwork to tell you you're doing everything wrong at the very moment that everything is going right for you.